Alright, I just set all, sent out my uh, car payment and I'm getting into Walmart for some groceries headed to Deer Camp. Just in here about a week ago, and that rub was not there. Fresh rub, but I don't know if it's the maturity here I'm at. All right, I'm about back to the car now. I'm gonna sit through this card and just try and slip in close to Petty's. I got a good idea where I'm going. Actually, there's a small cell passing through, and it's gonna catch us. And there's some yellow in it. I was gonna go in and hunt, but I'm actually, uh, what's the word? Not neglecting, deferring to, deferring to uh, staying out tonight. I got four days to hunt and I don't wanna get soaked on night one. Yep. So before I came back down here this weekend, <coughs> like Sunday, December 28th or something, I think. I marked a bunch of ag fields or potential food sources on my Onyx, and I'm just gonna roll around the night and check those to confirm and see if there's deer in them and um, what exactly they are. So, I'm gonna do some drift at a hunting pressure. They seem to be in a little bit more of a hurry than I am. Why it's downpouring. So there was just two cars in that parking lot, two trucks, but I'm not worried. Drifter loves covering ground, so it's a game. It's a game this time of year. You just gotta stay in it. Found a good big food source. No one's over here hunting right now. I'm gonna slip in and just speed scout the transition. I got a good wind. just no deer in it tonight. Warm temps, rain, low winds. It's a bad recipe for late season. I packed hella food. But if you don't fuck with these, I don't fuck with you. need the water to boil. I don't care about the outsides. Might start my coffee cup on fire though. Okay, I'm gonna grab my coffee and head on over to the parking lot. Dive on in. So just to fill everybody in, I was been having some lackluster late season weather. It's been 50s was last night through the night into today but it poured for 24 hours yesterday and the clouds are starting to break up now as the sun rises and by tonight it's supposed to be in the 30s 29 ish so it's going to be a pretty good day of hunting around here 
I'm going to put some time in. Although I won't be here much longer, I predict. I'll be getting down soon and going to get some food in my belly and doing some scouting. I swear to God, if this, this goddamn dog, I'm going to have to burn this place. I'm going to get down and start scouting now. That's the second set. It's... by that my thermals are working for me a little bit but my wind's more directly west and I hunt came in here to hunt a southwest wind which is probably why I didn't see any deer coming back to bed this morning um they probably winded me several hundred yards downwind and put it up there just moved along so time to do some scouting Best breakfast pizza here. We're gonna head out and put some boots on the ground in some new areas. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Guys, I'm I'm looking for any leftover shooter bucks. Do you know where one is? Ain't seen one, huh? The wind appears to be blowing. Better over here. But I'm coming up to get this field edge in. I actually just cut a really good track here along the gravel road. So, and I saw a few deer in this field last night. I'm gonna get in here, scout it out a little, try and put an arrow in something. Maybe hang the camera and just keep moving. We'll see. I'm ready to hop though. Overall, I got a really good feeling about tonight. I just didn't hop in the tree just yet. I got some cameras to put out. I want to get that done so they're doing some work for me while I'm running around. Just pulling in the park and I spotted a buck jumping the fence. I, it's probably a two year old, like 120s, but. Too much noise coming down in here, but there's his track. I'm guessing I bumped him that way somewhere. I'm right back to my car. Get my trail cameras. Get those out. Get back in that other spot. I ain't gonna forget about this deer. I got a camera out, kind of near that field. Just give me some inventory here. Some deer hair, probably from the gut pile for the deer guts and gut pile up here so I definitely killed back in there I'm um, just a monitor of the field though I'm going back to my last walk walking back into the piece I cut a pretty good buck track on set up by about one o'clock solid three hours on the stands we'll see it's got a good feeling tons of deer tracks in here good habitat Transition. No human sign.
cold weather coming tomorrow. It's giving me a good time. I've got new trails coming out bedding right here. They're up line. Tracks going both ways. Pretty fresh. It pinches them down right here along this bow and bridle trail. Well, I'm almost back to the cabin. I don't know if I came to you guys when I got back to the car finally. I had to charge my phone, power it back up, but I saw no deer tonight and three squirrels. So, back at it tomorrow in the morning. We're going hunting buck beds. We're going to find one somewhere new. I don't know yet. Right, guys, it's a little after 4.30. I'm headed over to a new piece today. It's got a lot more just food around it than the place here. Um, it's going to be a windy day, so I don't think I'm going to go in and hang before dark, but kind of just get in and still hunt my way into an area, try and be available for shot opportunities if that happens. Well, it's a little after 5 o'clock, and it's the coldest day of late season in Iowa, and I left my hand warmers at the cabin on the counter. Great start. Hindsight 2020, when I got in here and found these mature pines, I should have bailed out right away. The pressure, the thermal cover needed, it's just not likely. Gear running, or bed needs mature pines. shed hunted areas of this place but I've never been on this part so here it goes now Guys, kind of monitor the movement going to this guy's fruit block. Gonna pull back out because it's had some pressure over the weekend. I'm not sure how many deer are gonna to come to it tonight. So, don't know where I'm going yet. Just out here wandering around. Put that camera up back there and saw a few times, but. Didn't bump any deer, there's some tracks. Now there's a ground blind back there. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Don't know, need to put some orange on. I guess there was some guys in here yesterday shooting anything that moved, so. Uh, it's important to talk to people, share whatever you can with them. We're all in this together. Well, tonight was super, super, super slow. Um, and it's just been kind of dog crap. 